three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go. Hello and welcome to the penultimate Thunderbird 2 video. Um, yeah, next week is the final one, so I really hope I'm just going to do a plug for it now. Join me next week to see all this thing come together. Um, for those of you wondering what I'm going to be doing after Thunderbirds, I will be picking up the R2-D2 around the end of October. And that will be a weekly series. So two issues of R2-D2 starting around about the end of October. I'm going to take a little break um, and that will see me through to Christmas. And then in the new year, I will restart the DeLorean again. But before we do all that, Thunderbird 2, let's first look at the pod vehicle and then we'll look at the main mothership herself. Okay, so here we have the parts to make the final pod vehicle in this series. And this pod vehicle is the mobile crane from Path of Destruction. Okay, so we start with this pod vehicle, um, like we do with quite a lot of the others, by putting the wheels together. And it's a system that we have seen before, but it is slightly different because the wheels are so big this time. They come with little hubcaps like this. So what you need to do is get this black circle part here and push it onto the back of the hubcaps. Now the instructions say to glue it, but it is such a tight fit with all of these um, that I don't really feel like you need to. They just push in there like that, and I've done it with all the others. So you've got a black circle there, which makes this part look black on the inside. You can glue it if you want to, but you don't need to, in my opinion. So I'm just going to leave it like that. You then get a wheel, and you put one of the hubcaps in the wheel like that. And then this sticking out part here goes into this center part there. So you get the wheel like that, and then you push in the axle all the way through there like that to make sure it does push into that hubcap so it is secure so all that pattern part as you can see there disappears so it might be worth doing it this way there we go and then put the wheels on there like that push it through the axle or the chassis i should say like that and then on this side we have a wheel like this a wheel or tire really like this and then the hubcap to seal it all off at the end um, and then push it all together now i'm going to push these on quite hard because it is a metal axle as you can see here it's not plastic like the last pod vehicle so it won't snap on me and there we go so that is one set of wheels done let me just do the others <laughs> There we go all the wheels attached like that looking very cool indeed and the final thing that we're going to do for this pod vehicle this time is get this bumper part here it does slightly go out so the top as you're looking at it now is smaller compared to the bottom lengthwise this also does the same uh, it's actually upside down so yeah make sure they get that the right way round and then we bring back some glue just glue the pegs like that. Make sure I get the right way around. Make sure I get this the right way around. And just pop this hazard sign into those holes. Oh. Which is harder to do than you think because the pegs are so small. It means they'll be secure there, I think. Blimey, come on. All right, I'm just going to do this off camera. Be right back. Okay, so the better way to do this is push it in like that. As you can see, I've got paint. The paint is starting to smudge a bit, which is quite nice because it looks like weathering, so I don't mind it too much. But the best way is to push it into the black, uh, red plastic part 
and then glue it down there like that. And then what we do is we get the back here like this and glue these pegs here and just push it so that it is secure. Make sure we get the right way up. And just push that down there like that. And there we go. Hazard mark on the back there. And that is all we do for this final pod vehicle this time. Um, oh, it's not fully in. There it is. There we go. Yeah, that's all we do for this final pod vehicle this time. We'll be finishing off this pod vehicle along with everything else with Thunderbird 2 related next week. But in the meantime, I'm going to take a break and then look at the next Thunderbird 2 parts. <laughs> As always, Jerry Anderson Official Store is very kindly affiliated with this channel. And I've said many times before, the Big Chief Studio Thunderbird Brothers are available. Scott and Virgil are available now, with Alan Gordon and John available for pre-order. But I also want to give some love to some more Jerry Anderson shows today, namely Captain Scarlet. First off with the Captain Scarlet stuff, we have the Martian Exploration Vehicle, a planet replicas, well, replica of this fantastic first craft that we see in Captain Scarlet, the one that causes all the havoc with the Mysterons. Okay, Lieutenant, let them have it. And if your mind is a bit fuzzy about what happens in Captain Scarlet, then the first three volumes are available on Blu-ray. So you can catch up with all of the Spectrum adventures in high definition right now by buying the DVDs at the Jerry Anson official store. So go over to the store, check out the links below and other stuff that is on there. Anything you buy with the links helps out the channel, which would be really, really great. And you also get some really cool stuff. So go over to the Jerry Anson official store today. Captain Scarlet. Hello and welcome back and we are now looking at some more Thunderbird 2 parts just to finish up this video. Look at this. Iconic wings. The iconic wings of Thunderbird 2 is what we're looking at now. Just flip it around, you see the TB2 on the other side there. And what we're going to do with these is attach these little lights onto the wingtips. Now I've never really noticed these lights before, um, so it's all new to me. Um, but I'm sure they do exist and it does make it a more, it does make it a safer aircraft to have these warning lights to know the width of the aircraft and stuff like that. So what we need to do is we need to get the right hand side wing. We can touch the right hand one because it's got an R there. And we're just going to put just a tiny bit of glue on there and attach this red cover. Like that make sure you really push that in there's a tight fit there we go so you got the right hand one with the red tip and then on this side we have the blue tip there we'll just clip that in there like that or oh, just scratched it I'm just sort that out, be right back. There we go, all resolved, that scratch is gone. Good, so there are the wings all done. Look very nice indeed. Now we're just gonna put these aside for now because we are bringing in these pieces here, which are the sides of Thunderbird 2 to cover all those cogs and gears that control the mechanism. Now, uh, to uh, what we're gonna to attach to these two parts are the cockpit nose cone part here which I haven't seen in a while, but here it is. A little dusty because it's been with me for about a year now. Well, exactly a year, pretty much. So yeah, we've got the cockpit there and we've also got this new part, which is the top um, at the back of Thunderbird 2. So what we need to do, let's put the bottom, it's not bottom, the top bit aside, flip this around and we need to get these two parts here. Now, as far as I can tell, they are not labeled but you just need to make sure that you have the curve right. So um, they attach in there like that, and we'll screw them down just a second, and you'll see that this is the right one because it's got the curve correct, if that makes sense. So um, 
Let's just screw this one down into that screw hole there. Just to give you an idea of what it looks like. There we go. Oh, the top of Thunderbird 2 is slowly being done. This is super exciting. Okay, so um, what you need to do is attach the other one on the other side and then attach it to this bottom part here. So you've got um, a connecting part there which fits around there like flip it around. You can see it. It just goes on there like that. And we screw it down there and then we attach the other one. So I'm just going to go ahead and screw all these pieces down there. Done. Look at that. Seamless lines as well. This part looks great. This looks great. And of course, we'll finish this off very soon. But the final thing we're going to do in this video, you see this wire here, there is no way it's going to reach that circuit board that we looked at last week without a wire extender. Luckily, we do have one. It was supplied. So you get this wire here and you plug it into there. And then this will reach around into that circuit board next time. So that is the end of this video. It is all prepped. It is all ready for the final Thunderbird 2 video next week. We're going to finish off the pod vehicle. We're going to finish off Thunderbird 2. We're going to finish off the launch pad. And it's going to be amazing. So I really hope that you do join me for the final Thunderbird 2 video this time next week. Until then, guys, take care. FAB, bye-bye. I just want to thank my patrons. Without you guys, this video would not have been possible and this channel would be dead. So thank you very much.